Hey guys, Ron Williams. We're doing number nine of the series of 10. So we're almost there, we're getting close. But this one is really, really important. It's the mindset of a champion. This is number nine, the mindset of a champion. And remember what we're doing. We're doing the summer shred. And we're gonna do a reveal on the 24th of June. With that being said, the mindset of a champion. I had somebody respond to me. I was, I was talking a little bit about being wealthy. I was talking about being a champion. And I got a response that said, yeah, Ron, of course, you know, you can, you know, you can say that, you know, you've, you've won these competitions and, and you've done this and you've done that. Um, but everybody doesn't have that ability in them to do what you've done. I beg to differ. Uh, I beg to differ. Whatever it is you want to do, don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't. There, there is a fear that rises inside of us when we think of doing the impossible. And the reason why we call it the impossible is because you haven't done it yet. We could say it's impossible to win the Mr. World seven times, the Mr. Universe seven times, um, the Mr. Olympia seven times. It's impossible to do that in a lifetime until somebody's done it. I did it, guys. It's impossible to win 250 championships. I've done that too. It's impossible to, to, uh, for you, Ron, coming from the ghetto and where you came from, to have four patents working on the fifth one and being able to write books. Guys, it's not impossible. It's right here. It's the mindset of a champion. And the person said, uh, you know, you won, but everybody on stage, they believed as much as you did. No, I, I, I beg to differ. The people that were on stage with me, many of them had better genetics than I did. I didn't win because I had the best genetics pretty good genetics. I thank God that he blessed me with some really good genetics. But it's what I did with those genetics that really made the difference. And what I did with those genetics is because I believed past my genetics. What does that mean? It means that even though I didn't have the best genetics, I was willing to work hard enough to make up the difference. I was willing to do what the other people weren't willing to do. Now that was giving me the ability to win a championship. That is secondary to having the mindset of a champion. Now, a championship is something that you do, but being a champion is who you are. So having the mindset of a champion, it transfers into different areas of your life. And what I want you to see is that not only uh, can you acquire the body that you desire to acquire, Within your genetic limits, of course, you never, if you're, if, if you're seven feet tall, you're never going to be five, seven like me. You're never going to do that unless you cut your legs off and, 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 and do some serious, um, some, some serious augmentation. But what I'm saying within your genetic limits, there are some things that you can do that are amazing, that are amazing. You take bodybuilders like Frank Zane. I mean, he wasn't a very big bodybuilder, but he was amazing at what he did because he didn't take his small structure and, 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 and complain about it. He took that structure that he had and he built around it and built a beautiful championship physique. That same mindset you can transfer into your faith, your family, your fitness, your finances. And what we want to do is take that mindset and apply it to this summer shred. And then not only apply it to the summer shred, but then let it branch out into other areas of our life. First thing we've got to do is we've got to expose it. We've got to reveal it. We've got to start to use it. And once we've used it and it's effective, then begin to spread it spread it into other areas of our lives. Uh, as a family person, as a, uh, on your job, in different areas. So this mindset of a champion, 
is a, is a mindset that you can close your eyes, begin to visualize, see the objective. Now that you see the objective, you make your mind up that nothing's going to stop you from reaching that object, ob objective. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have this thing inside. You want to have this thing inside called dedication. You want to completely dedicate yourself to it. And as you dedicate yourself and you're pushing forward, you're pushing forward, you're pushing forward, different things come along, but you've already seen it and you're preparing, you've prepared for it and you're dedicated to it, you push through until you accomplish it. The mindset of a champion is a mindset that doesn't know how to quit. The mindset of a champion doesn't know defeat. The mindset of a champion just keeps getting up. Sort of like uh, the Rocky Balboa syndrome, where no matter how hard you hit him, he just keeps getting up. He just keeps, that's the mindset of a champion. See, you would look at the beginning of the Rocky fight and you would think he's gonna get destroyed in this. But he just kept getting up until that which he was trying to accomplish, he beat it down until he made it his own. I want you to learn that too. Beat it down until it becomes yours. Until it becomes yours. God bless you till next time.